Welcome to Vegas Experiment. Part game show, part challenges. On today's episode, three players put their taste buds, local knowledge, and influence to the ultimate test. Imposters? Maybe. Let's meet our players. My name is Ida, but I go by Perletta. I am a Las Vegas foodie. I'm the shit. You just never know what you're going to get. My name is Shay, Shay Vegas. I am a local Las Vegas foodie, influencer, content creator. Shay's a cheater, so don't play with her. I've been around a while. I know some things. My name is Ben Zabin. I'm a magician. I think I am here because of D. DEI initiatives. They needed a magician, and, and here I am. I'm excited. Player 11, are you ready to play? I'm ready to play. Player 13, are you ready to play? I'm ready to win. Player 14, are you ready to play? I'm ready to play. Round 1, food review. Players will have 30 seconds to try each plate, then score at 1 to 10. Just can't tell what kind of meat it is. You guys are going to have me eating some crazy food. Let's see. Okay. This is a taco. I'm gonna say this is a chicken taco. So far, it is uh, pretty, pretty tame. Tame for now. This experiment is just getting started. I feel like this is something more authentic because it's chicken thigh meat. You know what I mean? Like this is some place like that serves it on the corner. It's a dry taco. It's just a challenge to eat this dry taco. Flour tortilla is prime. Mm, that's good. So if it was moist, it would be a pretty good taco. Definitely not the driest thing in Vegas because the desert. Wow, it doesn't really have a lot of flavor. I would rate it like a... A five. Six? Six out of 10. It would be like an eight or nine if it was moist. Okay, this one looks a lot better. Mmm, this one's good. Another taco. This one's like a seven. You know, if you had some onions, some salsa, I could see this easily being like a nine. Noted. Let's see. This one has some, some green. So even if it's uh, still dry, it'll be more leafy. What grosses you out? Vegetables. Mmm, this is, this is good. It's got a tang. It's got a leafy tang. Vegetables. Shit, it's still pretty dry. Ben, get your taco under control. This tortilla's not doing as great of a job uh, holding this stuff, so I'm gonna have to subtract half a point for that. Over and under on user error. That's way more flavor, so I give that like a seven. And still not salsa, but that's okay. Four out of 10. We got Shay stumped. You guys are really stumping me. Is this like Roberto's or something? Like, why wouldn't you? Another taco, what a surprise. Or is this a quesadilla? Ooh, nope, still a taco. That's what we call turning two tacos into three. Mmm, this is my favorite. We're gonna give this one an eight out of 10. I mean, like it doesn't look like Roberto's. Like, cause our chicken tacos are, but. All that air fryer crunch. Quiet on set humans. The suspense is killing me. Six. All right. Mmm. Oh, I'm good. I shouldn't have gotten that big piece. Mmm, I like spicy, so I'm gonna say eight. When you add the toppings, I'm sure they could elevate. These tacos are from one of these three restaurants. Have you tried any of these local spots? No. Where did you guys make these up? Okay, uh, ooh, mm. I've never been here, so. I feel like I can't see all the tacos. Mm -hmm. Tacos, I haven't been in any of these places. This one's gonna have to be, uh. Um. I'm gonna guess this one came from Algoberto. Is it Algoberto? Alg Alg Close. Filipinos. Mmm. Can I look at the menu? Is that her? Nah, I gotta move these two. This one is Casa de Sabor. This one is. Wow. Casos de Julio? It's in the most obscure places. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Taco number two, Tacos Del Julio, UNLV, advances to the next round of our best tacos near the Las Vegas strip bracket. Taco number three has been given a five point penalty due to charging us for three tacos, but we only received two. Be ready, I'm ready. Round two, games. Rules for game one, iconic. Name the celebrity the set of eyes belong to. Guess as many as you can in 90 seconds. You get one point for each correct answer. Okay. 
three, two, one, go. Don't underestimate a magician. Uh, Rod Stewart. Incorrect. Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow? Barry Manilow. Incorrect. Rod Stewart. You can pass if you need to. I can pass? Uh, pass. <laughs> Ooh, um, uh, 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 O.J. Simpson. Incorrect. Think boxing. Mike Tyson. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She is a Vegas local, and a lot of people know her from her former connection to Hugh Hefner. Oh, um, Hugh Hefner, uh, uh, Pamela Anderson, <laughs> um, uh, blonde star, published author, uh, uh, blonde star, true crime show host, New York Times bestseller, mother of two. This is so hard. Okay, ah, uh, uh, ooh, this is not good. Um, mm, pass, hint. Hint, local pawn shop guy. Oh, the, the pawn star guy. I don't watch the show, but it's, it's that guy. He's let, let, Funny, but zero points. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, ooh, ooh, Celine Dion shit. Correct. Ooh, okay. I mean, uh, Carrot Top, Carrot Top. Correct. Yeah, eyebrows. Uh, Rod Stewart, Barry Manilow. One of those two. No? Uh, <laughs> His name is on a building here. Oh, oh, Steve Wynn. Correct. Sorry, I'm, he's... Time is up. That was so stressful. Name the celebrity the set of eyes belong to. Guess as many as you can in 90 seconds. Three, two, one, go. They call him Mr. Las Vegas. The guy who owns MGM? Performed at Las Vegas Hilton. Bally's. Caesars Palace. I don't know. MGM Grand. Stardust. I don't know. Been in a lot of Vegas movies. Oh, what's that man's name? It's not Donny Osmond, if that helps. No, it's not Donny. It's the one with that girl. He does the show with the girl. Honestly. Just go. Just go. Um, what I thought was Carrie Underwood. She is a Vegas local, and a lot of people know her from her former connection to Hugh Hefner. Published author. Mother of two. New York Times bestseller. Oh, and she has that show, right? Correct. Why can't I can't remember her name. Damn it! Her first name is a Christmas flower. <laughs> like, I don't know. I know it too, that's what's pissing me off. Oh my god, I suck. Mike Tyson. Correct. <laughs> oh god, damn, Melissa something or it starts with an M. Incorrect. She just did a really bad show. It starts with a C. Not Carrie Underwood. Incorrect. See, I told you guys. I thought I knew, but I don't know. No, you're doing great. Oh, um, Carrie Top. Correct. You, yeah. you did good. Damn. No, I did not. I got two. Well, that was crazy. Shay's not going to know anything. What? I'm, I'm not going to know anything. You might not see me coming, but I'm coming. Guess as many as you can in 90 seconds. Three, two, one, go. They call him Mr. Las Vegas. Wayne Newton. Correct. You're the first one to get him. I'm clever. I've got some tricks up my sleeve. <sighs> she is a Vegas local, and a lot of people know her from her former connection to Hugh Hefner. Published author. Oh, uh, um, um, um. Mother of two. New York Times bestseller. Dating Zach Baggins. I can't pass. I... You can pass if you need to. I... But... Not a... Yeah, pass. <laughs> Hint, local pawn shop guy. Rick Harrison. Correct. Think MGM Boxing. Mike Tyson? Correct. Celine Dion? Correct. Carrot Top. Correct. Oh, Steve Wynn. Correct. Elvis. Correct. Oh, I get that. Oh, oh is, that, is, is that Vegas Vic? Correct. Shay's not gonna know anything. Nick Cage. Correct. Oh, Guy Fieri. Correct. Pass. Oh, that's uh, Angel. A a Time is up. We'll give it to her. She killed it. I killed it! I Obviously a badass now. I promise I'm coming for you. Rules for game two. Neon Navigator. Name as many Vegas locations as you can in 90 seconds. One point for each correct answer. Let's begin. First clue, infamous nachos. 
Tacos El Gordo. Next clue. One word. Bow ties. Uh, Fountain Blue. Correct. I was in Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. I live in paradise but have no theme. I don't have a controversial past but my founder does. Uh. Final clue. I have a waterfall and a moving sign. I am part of a pair. I was about to say, um, Mandela Bay? Incorrect. Pass. The answer is when. I was about to say that, but I feel like that wasn't right. I don't know, half this history. 007 mentioned me. Clue two, take me out to the ball game. Another one bites the dust. Final clue is I was just imploded. Oh, Tropicana. Correct. I can see the big apple from where I am. Okay. My neighbor likes chicken. Welcome to Hawkins. Most find me to be a very popular show on Netflix. Excalibur? No. Think Netflix on the Vegas Strip. Maybe a store. It's a store? There's a Netflix store on the Vegas Strip. What's a popular show on Netflix that may have a store on the Vegas Strip? The answer is for Stranger Things. I'll First see. clue, you can visit me almost any time. Okay. I'm experienced although I am also new. Sports is my favorite thing. I'm tall and I look exquisite in blue. And final clue, adults only which means only 21 and up is allowed. Circa? Correct. Time is up. Shay is up and ready to extend her lead. First clue, I have replicas of famous landmarks you can visit outside of Las Vegas. When you are inside, it feels like you are outside. My sister and I, Caesar's Palace, incorrect, are one of the biggest on the Vegas Strip. I have a water feature and a ride. I also used to have free parking. It is part of a pair. The size is a giant compound. Open on May the 4th be with you, 1999. New York, New York? Incorrect. You can pass if you need to. Okay, pass. A big glass dome. I have a family member in Reno, Nevada. Come check out my water park. I am a simp for clowns. I mean I love clowns. Circus Circus? Correct. First clue, you can buy their butter. It's giving vintage Vegas. I am named after a shiny animal. I am a restaurant with celebrity jeans. Golden Sear. Correct. First clue, good guys versus bad guys. Famous in Vegas, infamous and elsewhere. I'm where you can find moonshine or an Al Capone bobblehead. Final clue. I'm a downtown museum. The Mob Museum. Correct. First clue, high winds can turn me off. My address is on the Las Vegas Boulevard. I dance to music. Final clue, I'm a fountain that is on the house. Time is up. <laughs> okay, Ben, here's your chance to take home some pride. And spoiler, you are about to be eliminated. Three, two, one, first clue, you can visit me at any time. I was in the movie Casino. I'm famous for my fire pits. Garage. Well-known faces, neon lights, and final clue. Fire. I'm an iconic restaurant on the Vegas Strip. Uh, uh, fire? Shit, one more time. I'm famous for my fire pits. Fire pits, big drink. Ugh. Not salt, but what? Pepper? Salt and pepper? I'm an iconic restaurant on the Vegas Strip. Pass. I'm experienced, although I am also new. Sports is my favorite thing. I'm tall and I look exquisite in blue and final clue. Fontainebleau. Fontainebleau. Incorrect. Fontainebleau. Adults only, which means... Circa. Correct. First clue. I am new to town. My cousin flies all around the United States. I'm a big fan of sports and music. Virgin? Incorrect. Locals say I look like a Roomba or the Death Star. Roomba or the Death Star? Ah, uh, fa- the Sphere? Incorrect. Uh, <laughs> uh, does football help? Oh, Allegiant Stadium? Correct. 20 seconds left. In the cough, cough, real world. I'm very tall. I have a past obsession with bunnies. You can find me off not on the Vegas Strip. I like waking up in Vegas. Uh, Katy Perry, uh, uh, off the strip. Real world, uh, star, uh, pawn stars. Time is up. What am I? I clearly don't get out of my home as much as I should. Did I win the million dollars? Player 13, you have been eliminated. 
Welcome to Vegas. I'm soft and I'm fluffy, but I'm also a villain in disguise. Welcome to the final round, where the points no longer matter. The first to three points wins the episode. This game is called the Box of Influence. In front of you there are six mystery boxes with objects inside that no one has ever seen before. On your turn, pick a box, open it, then describe the contents to your opponent. It is up to them to guess if you're lying or telling the truth. Shay, be ready. I'm ready. You guys are I'm awesome. ready. I don't even play like that. Right. Player Shay Vegas, choose your first box. Choose wisely. Hmm. Okay. Mimi, you know me too well because this is something that I'm very familiar with. Okay. Um, it's furry. It's cute. Mm -hmm. uh, you, I think you have one of these as well. We're very close to it. I'm not supposed to guess what it is, right? I just gotta know whether she's telling the truth or not. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Keep going. I'm so sorry. Um, it's it's this is a little cute furry thing. A furry it's a, thing. It's a little cute furry thing that you 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 love them. I love them. We're big fans. Oh, fan a dog. Well, how do I know if you're telling the truth or not? <laughs> do you believe her or not? Do you think I'm telling the truth? Or? Are you describing a dog? Because I, I need you to tell me what you're describing, whether I can say so, it's true or not. Correct? Just, or am I wrong? Maybe we should have called this game the Box of Confusion. Right. Usually my story, I guess. Do you have a furry thing over there, Shay? Yeah. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know, because now I feel like you're lying to me, and I don't like it. Hmm. <laughs> If it's a furry animal dog, I believe her. Fine, I believe her. But she's probably lying to me. Go ahead, show her what you have. Or tell her. What I have it? a Beatles album. Yeah. <laughs> it was like that. I didn't understand that. I feel like she's an MP3 like... player. Huh? And, a, and a captain's hat. At this point, I'm just going to talk gibberish then, Shay. <laughs> she is not telling the truth. <laughs> okay. All right. Why are you picking number three? That's my favorite number. All right, keep it below the black. This is Shay's favorite spot in the whole world. Yeah, I don't want to chop. True. You're telling me the truth. You're well, telling me the you're truth. So fair. <laughs> you're telling me the truth. There is more inside your box. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, oh, well, I don't know. It's, it could be your favorite spot, but it could not be your favorite spot. I need you to pick. She's just making up her own rules at this point. A donut shop that you are obsessed with, because I think that's what is right here. I'm here for it, though. You have to pick one, right? Is that right? Incorrect. I'm telling the truth, but I know it's not my favorite donut shop. So which one is I'm it? I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. Pink Fox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was telling the truth. <laughs> I have that hat. Yeah. I'm not good at this. <laughs> I have that same hat. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> you get to keep that. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like this. That was an F-bomb. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like it? Not so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. Two to zero. Okay. Shay Vegas is winning. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't like this. This is not okay. fair. Pearletta, you're going home if you lose this one. <sighs> Come on, Shay. Make this fun. I'm choosing number one. Okay. Because why not? Yeah. I'm in first place. That's right. Don't make me kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> this is something furry. You're lying. Something that you get at Christmas. It's lucky. Um, You're lying. I it's yellow. Anything that comes out of your mouth. Lying. That's a point. That's a point. She's got it. What? I'm lying. Yeah. Yay! That's <laughs> Did you kill it. Yeah. No, you got a point. So now it's two one. And your turn. 
I got it? No, I got She's, it. Furletta gets the point. She said I was lying, but I... Oh. You were lying. I wasn't lying. You said furry. It's furry. It's, it's not Christmas. furry. It's lucky. That bird is fuzzy, not furry. Oh, I thought it was rubber. It's furry. It's like you get it at Christmas. Not all of the contents were described. It's lucky. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a rubber ducky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, so like it. That bird is fuzzy, not furry. All right, fine. <laughs> Pearletta one, Shay Vegas two. So you can tell who's honest and who's not <laughs> here, because, um, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> um, you play this at a casino, and mm -hmm. you play it at a casino. You're telling the truth. Huh? You're telling the truth. Am I? I don't even know if I'm telling the truth or not anymore. You can't play a bunny at the casino. Pearletta gets the point and didn't even know it. I don't know. Wait, what? I don't know. Okay. 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 I'm not good at this. <laughs> the score is two to two. Next point wins the game. Good luck to you both. Number six. Right. Number, six. Give it number six. Oh. Mm -hmm. I heard okay. it, so let's go. <laughs> My ears tell me better than I can just blindly say something. Wow. What happened? Find out next week on episode two when three brand new players face off in the ultimate battle of taste, wit, and deception. I can't wait to see the best taco. And Vegas Feeds wants me to remind you to like this video and to subscribe to the page if you enjoyed our show. My name is V, and I'll see you next and week. And I just canceled myself.